Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at Transformers Darker Than the Moon Human Alliance Ice Pick with Sergeant Chaos. And Sergeant Chaos looks okay. I mean, it's just standard Human Alliance figure ask, you know, just small, but the detail on him is okay. I mean, there's nothing decent about it. It looks like he's wearing a. Let me zoom out. It's like he's wearing a Darth Vader helmet for some reason. Maybe. I don't know, maybe he's trying to pretend to be Darth Vader with a Decepticon, but... Which, that's kind of confusing. Why would, it, why would it be called Human Alliance if it's not, if you're with a Decepticon? Couldn't it be like... Um... I don't know, like a name instead of Human Alliance? Like, uh... I don't know, but anyway. Zooming out here. Here's Ice Pick. Ice Pick is a snowmobile. Of course, I mean, it's a pretty decent snowmobile, and if you look there, it says, uh, free, free con. Okay, I don't know why it says, it says on both sides, but I don't know what that means. Um, see that? Free con. Okay, I don't know why it says that, but I'm not, I don't know. He's got these little guns right here. They can you can position them any way you like it, and they're on these little mech tech clips. And yeah, you can put other weapons in here, but I don't have any other ones right here on my table to do that. So it's a it's a good gimmick, but most but on most of the other figures, it's kind of pointless. So let's uh, transform this guy. <laughs> There you have it. Now, he is not that bad of a figure, to be honest. He's pretty small. I mean, what do you gonna, what do you expect? You know, it's a human alliance figure. It's like a, it's a, it feels like a scout class figure for some reason. Here's um, Chaos, Sergeant Chaos, and pretty small. <laughs> and um, you can peg the guns on the shoulders, but I don't want to simply because they don't peg in easily. They'll just pop out. <clears throat> Uh, posability, um, same thing, you know, his, uh, he has, he can bend his elbow like that, he, he can do a awkward kick like that, he can do a kick in, in the backwards, and he can bend his knee, that's simply for the transformation back to, uh, snowmobile mode, but I want to focus on the face, I think the face is what's interesting about this, um, I don't know if you can see it, but if you look at the face, like, uh, oh, here we go. I don't know how you, well you're going to see it. There we go. <clears throat> if you can see this, there's like a black lining on his face. He has, he has a purple face with black lines over it. And... I don't know what that reminds me of. I mean, it, it's a pretty cool face, but I can't think of what character looks like um, uh, Ice Pick. So, um, as you know, from the Human Alliance class figures from Dark and the Moon, they have a weapon mode, so let's get into that. Well, he can barely hold it. Hold Ice Pick in weapon mode. But you can see he holds it. Pretty decent. So, on the whole, should you get this guy for your collection? Absolutely. If you're looking for a somewhat better um, Human Alliance figure from Darker the Moon, like the little ones, and like a better Decepticon one, you know, who has a sleeker kind of vehicle mode and a somewhat okay robot mode and a pretty decent weapons mode, then this guy's your ticket. I mean, this, I mean, um, Ice Pick is just great. I mean, I like the coloring on there, you know, the um, the purple and the, uh, the white and the uh, kind of darkish blue gray on the front right here and the colors is just it's just fantastic so this guy is not that bad i mean he is not going to disappoint you if you get this guy so thank you for watching until next time guys i will catch you later